Vietnam Ambassador to the United States, the Honorable Ambassador Zong. Once again, North Carolina's Governor, Roy Cooper. Thank you very much, Madam Tweed. And next, we would like to welcome to the stage the Vietnam Ambassador to the United States, the Honorable Ambassador Zong. Thank you very much, Ambassador. And next, we would like to welcome to the stage Governor Roy Cooper.
One of the great things about this company coming to North Carolina is when I am wearing this tie, I can say, no, it's not my Duke University tie. It is my Venfast tie. I'm so happy to be here because I'm thinking about the great paying jobs that are going to be created right here in North Carolina, going to put money in the pockets of working families, and that's a great thing. Madam Tewitt, we are so grateful for you and your team. Uh, Vanon, thank you so much for becoming a resident of the state of North Carolina and leading this effort. Uh, I've been working with this team. This is a strong woman leadership team for Vanon. Let me And Brooke, you're okay too, just so you know that. <laughs> Mr. Ambassador, thank you for your presence on several occasions for, for being here. Grateful to see Leader Robert Reeves right here in his home area helping to push this project every step of the way. Thank you. Senator Bergen, thank you for your presence here along with Senator Murdoch and other legislators. This was a true bipartisan effort. We're grateful to have everybody here working on this. Um, grateful to have a couple of members of my team, Lee Lilly, who's head of our pandemic and economic recovery, and Jordan Richard, our Chief Deputy Secretary of Commerce. Our entire team from transportation to environment to commerce to our community colleges, we have all been working on this. And let me comment about the great work of the Chatham County local officials and local economic developers, and also the area counties who have continued to pull together, recognizing that these are gonna be great jobs for all of these counties in North Carolina. Thank you for your amazing work. It is a great day to celebrate the hard work of thousands of North Carolinians to bring the very first auto assembly plant to our state. We've been working on that for decades, folks. Decades. We wanted an automaker in North Carolina, and you know, somebody was looking after us. We were just waiting for that EV market. That's what we were waiting for here in North Carolina. And I talked with President Biden several times about this. Obviously, he and his administration have been so supportive. And he is excited about American jobs being created here in our country. And I told him, but I'm really excited about them being North Carolina jobs. And that matters. Uh, ben Fast is leading an army of clean energy companies coming to our state. It has helped us to set records for job growth and economic expansion over the last few years. And when you talk to CEOs of automakers and truck makers, the private sector is moving away from gas and diesel and into the EV market at breakneck speed. The competition is fierce, so it's important that we have been able to pull together to harness the economic windfall that is coming from that to make sure that that money goes into the pockets of North Carolina. Yes, it's critically important for us to fight climate change and to protect our environment, but this is where the market is going. And what we need to do is to make sure that we harness that. And yes, North Carolina has been ranked number one for the second year in a row by CNBC. But not only that media company, but many other publications have put North Carolina at the top. And a lot of people want to claim credit for that. The credit goes to the hard-working, well-trained, diverse workforce in North Carolina, those people who are the very best in the country. And 
And when I talk to people at VinFast and at Toyota and Honeywell and Google and Apple and all of these other companies who have decided to come to North Carolina, that is the first thing that they talk about is, is the workforce and how important it is to them. And the second thing they talk about is infrastructure and making sure that we can support their business efforts. And in North Carolina, we are moving fast on infrastructure. We have a coordinated effort competing for every single federal dollar. And Madam Tui, one of the main things we're trying to get is to make sure we have charging stations all over the state to make sure we are ready for this EV revolution. And that will be part of the infrastructure effort that we are putting forward. We are grateful for the education that our people get in North Carolina, and we must continue to invest in that to make sure we continue to be the best manufacturing workforce, not only in North Carolina, but in the country. We are in a global economy, no doubt about it. But what we have to be focused on doing is make sure that the American people and the people of North Carolina win in that global economy. And you do that by attracting companies from all over the world to come to your country and to your state and create those jobs right here. And this, this is what it's all about. And I'm so grateful. And I'll tell you, Vanon, as she gets uh, started in running this company, she drove me in a DFA. And it was a great ride. And let me tell you, these cars are going to be great sellers in this country. We are excited about this partnership and look forward to great years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Governor Cooper. And next, we would like to welcome to the stage Representative Robert Reeves. Woo! Yeah. 